Hello everybody, it's Bernadette here, Simply We Art Cape Town. Thank you for joining me again today. Before I get into my third painting of my gemstone inspired series, which will be the citrine, I wanted to just show you the dried results of some of my recent paintings. This is the feather. It dried absolutely beautiful, nice and flat, and the colors stayed so vibrant. This piece will get a coat of resin. I also wanted to show you the dried results of my last um, Dutch pour. Also dried beautifully well and I will also resin this piece. And then the flower dips. The colors stay as vibrant as when I left the pieces and it's so beautiful. So I will also put some resin on this and then these two will be sold as a set. So I use glue and water as a pouring medium and I use Dala paints as well as Zalcraft paints. And I find that they work very well with the glue and water mix as a pouring medium. I have no issues with um, with my paint seizing and it flows beautifully and it dries beautifully within 24 to 48 hours my paintings are usually dry so let's get started with today's pour I've got once again a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas and I'm going to be working with yellows and a raw sienna as well as bronze today for our citrine pour so my base colors are mixed up already. I mix them up one part paint to two parts pouring medium and I add water for consistency. I've used a Zalcraft paint and I've also used a Dala paint and I needed to add less water in the Zalcraft paint. So I can't tell you whether it's 30 grams or 25 grams that you need to add to get to your consistency. You need to work with the water and mix it into your paint until you get the desired consistency for your technique for the dutch pour i need a very thin consistency so i added to the dala paints i added 30 grams of water but to the zalcraft paint i only added 25 grams of water because zalcraft is a thinner or a lighter body paint than the dala paint so, when I used the Dala paint, I used the lemon, but I added bronze to get to this color. And then I used the sunflower by Zalcraft, and I added some Dala lemon, just to brighten it up a bit. Not much, about 5 grams or so. So don't be afraid to mix your colors to find the desired color that you want for your technique or for your design. So let me lay down my base coat and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the colors that I'll be laying down. So I'm going to put you on speed for this process. All right, my base coat is laid down. For this pour, I will be using bronze. I will also be using the permanent yellow by Dala. I'm going to add in a Naples yellow by Dala. I will be adding in a deep yellow. I 
I will be doing a raw sienna. This is Dela Rowney's raw sienna. And I will also be adding pearl white. So those are my colors. Alright, let's start with the bronze. I've got a piece of gunk in the bottle. Let me just, I'm just using a, a jumbo pin to get that out. Start from the side now. Here we go. Now the permanent yellow. And Naples yellow. A deep yellow. The raw sienna. And some pearl white. Here we go. All the colors laid down. So my colors are laid down. I'm just going to torch it quick. Once again, we're going to use the blow dryer. Let's torch this again. There's a lot of color under here, so I'm going to use my tubing to blow it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm actually going to leave that just as it is. This was a very big risk, but I love it. Cleaning the underside of the canvas, getting rid of all of those drips, or it will pull all your paint from the top of your canvas. And you literally need to nurse your canvas now. I come back in the next half an hour, I come and I check up on it at least two to three times, 
and in the hours after that I will check up on my painting at least once every half an hour until I see the edges it will dry from the edges and as once I see that it's starting to dry from the edges then I stop taking care of it because then it will just dry as it is I'm loving this piece let me bring it down for a closer look Thank you. 